In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, around verses 22 to 59, we hear Jesus make the statement, I am the bread of life, and we commonly call this section the, the bread of life discourse. So just before Jesus makes this statement, he has just fed the 5,000 miraculously uh, with loaves and fish. He has also walked on water, and this is, and his disciples have seen him do this. So it's prefaced with miraculous deeds, first of all, by Jesus. Now for these miracles, the people call him a prophet. Yet when he says, do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. And they ask him, how can we accomplish these works? And he returns by saying, believe in the one whom God has sent. They ask him, well, what sign can you perform? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna from heaven. Jesus answers them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And the people want this bread. And then Jesus makes the move of claiming his divinity when he says, I am the bread of life sent down from heaven. And the people see this happen and they start murmuring against him, or rather about him, saying, well, who is, who is he to say that I have come down from heaven? Don't we know his parents? Haven't we known him? But Jesus doesn't just stop at saying, I am the bread of life. He takes it a step further when he says, I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And the Jews quarreled among themselves. Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. It was a difficult teaching to accept and understand then. And it is to this day. In a recent Pew study done a few years ago, it showed that only 31% of Catholics actually believe that the Eucharist is truly Jesus' body and Jesus' blood. Let us pray for faith in this truth that Jesus is the bread of life and that life is found within the Eucharist, his true body and true blood. St. John Newman, pray for us.